Hi guys, how's it going? Big wrestling fan here. I am. Pretty much I am. That's all I talk about is wrestling. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to do another WCW rant uh, about Goldberg. Um, I'm a big Goldberg fan and and uh, somehow he wasn't used the way I thought he should be used. Or anybody should be used, any actually. But anyways, uh, we're going to talk about his feud with the Giant. The Big Show, Paul White, whatever you want to call him. I, I remember him as the Giant. Cause that's a good name. He is. A, he was a giant. I mean, he got the WWF like called him Big Show. I love the most stupidest name ever. <laughs> the Big Show. It's kind of dumb. That's that's just my opinion. But anyways, uh, he had a big feud with the Giant after he won the belt. Especially, I actually like, like all like it was a long feud. They fought like four or five times between July and to end of November. And they were actually, um, if you read in Goldberg's book years ago, like 20 years ago, uh, Goldberg and the Giant was supposed to be the main event for Starcade. But they always, ru they, they ruined it. They, he, Goldberg even said they ruined it by having having their match, all the, their matches on Nitro all the time. And they kind of wrecked a big payday again. And uh, Goldberg fought, I think, on the last like November 25th, 1998, the night after World War III, he, he beat the Giant, one, two, three, with a big jackhammer, a beautiful jackhammer, like a 500-pounder. Goldberg is incredible. And Goldberg had the place rocking, and Kevin Nash says he's getting booed out, booed out of the building. Maybe he's right, but I think he could be wrong, because what I've seen, Goldberg was still on fire, and as he lost the belt, because they thought everybody didn't like him no more. Maybe that's true. But when I saw, I think he was still on fire. But anyways, back to Go back to Goldberg and the Giant. Uh, they 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 wrecked this big pay per view on Nitro again because they had to beat the ratings. They had, it was all about ratings for WCW. They did not care about the big pay paydays that they could have as long as they beat Vince and Raw. Vince cared about ratings too, obviously, but he he didn't care and he knew. You gotta save your big matches for the pay-per-view. You gotta pay extra to see those matches. So, but Vince did his own thing, and that's why... And, and he didn't really worry about WCW, and that's why he went on. So, um, again, and the thing is, the, if you watched my last video, I talked about how uh, Goldberg and Sting fought after Fall Brawl, the night after, and Goldberg and the Giant fought after, the night after, World War Three, 1998. So why in the hell, why wouldn't you have that big match at World War III? I'd pay to see that. Of course I would. I remember one time when I was young, my dad was so excited. He told me, he, he said, hey, Matt, guess what? Uh, Goldberg's going to fight the Giants tonight. Like, he was so excited to see that match because he had Goldberg against this big opponent. Big big opponent. Like, he was a big star. And then also... um. Uh, the size as well. So that's another rant today. And really disappointing. Like, like what the fuck? Like, you guys could have made so much money. You had this huge star in the palm of your hands, and you didn't. And you you, you make him lose, and never give him the belt back. You just give it to Hogan. Hogan will save the day. So will Nash. Me and Ric Flair will too. Like they they built two stars: Diamond Dallas Page, and Goldberg. And once they got the belt, take it away from them as fast as they can. Because DDP won the belt at, at, at Spring Stampede, 1999. A month later, Kevin Nash books himself to beat the, be, be the champion. He cannot deny that one. No, Nobody talks about that one. A month later, Kevin Nash becomes champion. Um, he always says that he, was, he, was the, he wasn't the booker for December for Starcade, But he was the booker for Slamboree, 99. And then he becomes champion. As soon as DDP got some got some heat or got some got some power, take it away from him as fast as you can. <laughs> Nobody talks about that. Maybe we should we should have a little video about that as well. Slam Brewery, 1999. Maybe so. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, maybe we can talk about the Goldberg and Hogan next time, if you want. If you if you heard it before, let me know in the comments. Uh, like this video. Watch the video. Subscribe to the channel. It's going, it's going well. It's ever since I, since I changed the name. 
<laughs> it's going pretty good. And um, I'm pretty excited about it. I all of a sudden got some all, all kinds of brand new ideas. And I'm sitting in my car again. It's just when you got some got some spare time, uh, waiting for the wife. Uh, make a video. Can't complain. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you around.